Mason Grace is another person's basket toy store. Amazing! Grace is another person's passport toy story. Yay! Yay! Amazing! Grace is another person's passport toy story. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast toys. Yeah, baby. Okay, so I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy's fast food toy story. And so for today, boy have I got a toy for you. Okay, our toy for today is none other than Yum! Okay, Yum! Kalesapan! <laughs> Okay, this series of toys are called the Jolly Pinoy because we have some of those iconic animals. Um, yeah, some of those iconic stuff that you get to see here in the Philippines together with our favorite mascots from Jolly And this time it is Yum! together with the Kalesa. <laughs> well, long before the tricycle, long before the jeepneys or all those mechanical machineries, <laughs> those uh, public utility vehicles. We have the Kalesa as our mode of transportation, especially if you're going to really distant places. It's the Kalesa that usually <laughs> actually does that job to transport us. Yeah. But, um, well, uh, even if we do have these public transportation, the buses, the tricycles, and the jeepneys, sometimes we would chance upon the Kalesa, especially in San Fernando or in, in uh, just to keep the the, uh, the Filipiniana uh, tradition alive, of course. Especially during the leisurely uh, uh, visits and places, I think the Kalesa is the most perfect mode of transportation <laughs> to actually visit uh, some of these wonderful places here in the Philippines. Okay, <laughs> so here's the toy and then it also comes with a protective plastic. Now let's remove it. Okay, wow, this is pretty awesome. Now as you can see, the Kalesa is a little bit disproportionate or a little bit smaller. Usually, it's very big, uh, very enormous, and you can actually sit uh, three people here together with the Kuchero. That's a driver for the Kalesa, Kuchero. <laughs> but uh, apparently, Yum here is simply introducing how a Kalesa looks like. So this is how a Kalesa looks like. It's like a cart here as a the 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 horse is actually the one pulling the car uh, wherever you want to go. <laughs> okay, isn't it great? Okay, Popo is wearing his uh, official outfit, the modern Popo, um, the modern Yum, I mean. Okay, and he is pointing towards the Kalesa, our traditional mode of transportation here in the Philippines. Okay, this is pretty awesome. It's actually a bobblehead. <laughs> You can see the head of the horse bobbling. Now, uh, there is a paper here on the pocket of Popo that you have to remove so that it, you will actually see the effect of the toy. Okay, so once we're able to do that. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Where is that? Oh, it pulls up. It pulls up the hand. There's a contraption at the back of Popo that you have to put, uh, push downward to make it go up. Okay, now there is supposed to be... Wait a minute. <clears throat> On the side... Okay, move the lever back to see the hand when you hear the galloping and lean sound of the horse. Tap also the horse's head. Okay. Well, apparently we don't have the batteries anymore. That's why it's not making the sound. But uh, before, once it was new, you can actually see the horse making the horse sound. And 
the TikTok TikTok <laughs> because when it is galloping, it has some steel shoes, so you would hear it on the concrete roads. Uh, the TikTok TikTok, it's like a clacking, uh, tap dancing shoes of the horse, and it's uh, quite relaxing because um, there is some sort of a, you know um, a routine or you know it's very relaxing <laughs> to hear the clippity clippity <laughs> of the hooves of uh, clippity clapping hooves of the horse of the kalesa okay so that is it isn't this pretty awesome and it's waving look right on step right up and have a ride in this kalesa okay now i must say this is just an amazing race <laughs> okay wonderful toy bubble head and it also makes a sound now should you decide to actually uh, yeah to actually hear the horse make a sound well we have to uh, give it a new set of batteries so that uh, it will actually make the sound okay so that's it <laughs> So once again guys, let's try to be thankful to God for all the amazing grace that come to our lives be in the form of a yum toy together with the traditional Philippine Kalesa. <laughs> A wonderful toy and a great addition to my Percy's fast food toy collection. And also be thankful for um, the horse and the kalesa. These are iconic symbols, uh, very uh, indicative of our culture as Filipino people. And they somehow identify, give us a strong identity. Um, yeah, these contributions of the kalesa is such uh, a wonderful, a wonderful contribution to how we are as a Filipino. <laughs> or basically guys, let's be thankful for everything amazing grace be they small or big be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones but just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly and i thank you guys for always tuning in to Percy's fast food toy story thank you to the new subscribers please keep them coming because we still have a lot more Percy's fast food toy stories up my sleeves so until the next one bye bye and see you around bye here's mr yum and the